I'm Sue from Talent Talks. I'm here at the offices of SABPP with Marius, the CEO. Hi, Marius. Thank you so much for sharing this time with us. Uh, Sue, it's a pleasure and good to be with you. Thank you. August 2017 is significant for SABPP as it marks the fifth anniversary of the introduction of the world's first set of national HR standards. This year, the project is expanded to create a set of national leadership standards at a time when it's crucial that action is taken to improve the quality of leadership in South Africa. Maurice, can you share with us the motivation behind the leadership standard journey? Yes, uh, so um, it has been an interesting journey up until now with the national HR standards. Um, and what we've learned over the last four or five years is while it's good for HR to get this house in order regarding good people practices and HR standards, the reality is that line managers also need to be brought up to speed in terms of what good leadership behaviour is all about. Mm -hmm. um, so in our engagement um, with the HR managers and with different leaders throughout the country, we've just noticed that leadership is a very big issue and leaders are really struggling to, to be good leaders in today's complex, fast-paced work environment where you cannot even plan your day. Things are just happening unexpectedly. Um, and that's the reason why we have um, decided to embark on this journey of developing a national leadership standard to guide leaders and to support leaders with clear guidelines and principles on what good leadership behavior um, is all about. We also realize that People come from different backgrounds, from different schools of thought, and depending on where you've studied or where you've been trained, you may have a different model of, of leadership. Um, some of us may even have 10 leadership models in our head, and you, you almost select the right model according to your gut feel on the day. And we've now found that that does not really work, and it's, it's confusing the followers of leaders because leaders are, keep on changing. Um, in other words, they become inconsistent in their practices, and therefore um, we thought of the solution to, to the leadership problem is really to have a proper leadership standard where the guidelines will be clear, the processes will be clear, the models will be clear, and the, a clear leadership framework will guide leaders in terms of what good leadership practices are all about. That's fantastic. Now, the development of the leadership standards needs the input of the HR community and line managers for it to be meaningful. It requires a call for action. How do you see the community participating and how do you envisage creating the framework for the standards? Yes, yes. Um, I think what we, what we see, Sue, is we really need to get people together to collaborate um, and, and therefore the, the process that we've outlined is to first of all create a platform where leaders from different organisations can meet in one room. Um, without any preconceived ideas about what is the best leadership model, in order to really collaborate and to say, let's develop for ourselves a blueprint of what good, good leadership behavior and action um, is, is all about. So that collaboration is getting people together with facilitators, of course, who will just guide the process, um, will be a session um, that we're planning on the 13th, 14th of September for the leaders to get together, and then they will brainstorm the leadership um, standard and after that, we were able to have some drafts available that we can share again with the market. Do you think that in that six-week time frame, you'd be able to actually complete the framework and it'd be ready to go into the marketplace, given the process that it's going to go through? Yes, um, I'm, I'm quite confident because previously when we developed the um, Human resource um, standard. We've done it in 89 days, um, so wow. so I think it is indeed possible, um, especially now given our experience with the previous um, processes, that we know we can do it. I think the reality is every single person in this country at least has an opinion on leadership, whether it's yes. good or bad. We all have opinions, and the idea here is to say, well, bring your opinion to the table. And let, let's look at your inputs and we consolidate all these inputs and then give it to the market over that six week period in order to add to that. Um, and I think um, what we've learned from this type of process, once you have a draft in place, it's not that difficult to refine and improve it and to add inputs to, to that process because then already you're not on page zero anymore. 
um, and we can then build and improve and refine it until we are happy to launch it in, in the end of October. I think that's an incredible initiative and a, a challenge which I can see you bringing to fruition. And it's um, so much time is spent talking and discussing and conferencing over these issues. And it's very good that we have a destination and an end goal in sight. And I commend you for that, Marius. Um, what do you think is the significance in the bigger picture framework of the leadership standard journey events? Well, so I think the significance is, if you, if you today would look at any successful organization, or you can even put it at a higher level, any successful country, it depends on the quality of, 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 of leadership. Um, so, so therefore, the good leadership behavior drives success. Um, and therefore, I think the value this can add to, first of all, our organizations, and secondly, to the sector in which you operate, and at the highest level to the country, will really be significant, um, so that we can really achieve the type of performance that we should be achieving. I mean, if we, the, I mean, we sit here today on 0.7% economic growth, and I say to myself, if I look at the potential of the talent I see every day, and I look at our economic performance, there's just a huge gap. Um, and I am absolutely convinced that leadership is the most important factor that's going to help us to get our organizations to, to start functioning more effectively so that we can achieve the goals um, regarding the National Development Plan that surely all of us want economic growth, want unemployment to go down, want corruption to go down, and want all institutions in this country to, to function more effectively. So I think it has a bigger purpose. At the micro level, it affects every single individual. Then it will affect your organization, and ultimately it will affect the whole country if all leaders can strive towards excellence in their respective um, spheres of influence. That's fantastic, Morris. Thank you so much um, for spending this time with us. And we're very proud and excited to be on this journey with you. And um, we'll keep everybody up to date as we progress and uh, look forward to seeing them on the 14th and to actually beginning the journey and launching it. Thank you Thank very you. much, Sue, for the opportunity. Thank you.